Hey there, everybody. Flick here again with another uh, entry-level beginner's newbie voice effect tutorial thingy. I thought I'd keep going this time with uh, a little bit more of a ghostly voice. I suppose this could be a scary voice, but I, I was inspired to make this one by those uh, in Skyrim. There were these there were these ghostly figures that would haunt these sort of uh, deep, isolated places, and they always seemed really sad to me. And I wanted to to sort of bring that out. And so I looked up a whole bunch of different tutorials and brought together something that I thought sounded pretty cool. So this is the clip you start out with, and as usual, it sounds pretty corny. This is what it sounds like. Hello? Is anyone there? Why am I so cold? Yeah, pretty terrible, but we can make it sound a lot better. First of all, the first thing we do for all of our uh, videos is we go up here to... And I actually have a big load of plugins... Uh, that I'm using. You will need a couple. I put them in the uh, links at the bottom. And I also put it in the beginning of the video. So uh, we're going to go up here first to noise removal as usual. And say get noise profile. Go back to effects. Noise removal again. And say OK. And now what we're going to have, I'll play it again for you. Hello? Is anyone there? Why am I so cold? Still pretty dorky but a lot cleaner and that's the whole idea. So now, because we're going to need uh, a copy of this sort of uh, baseline uh, uh, audio file, we're going to say edit and duplicate. And that's not going to be changed. We're just going to leave that the way it is. But we are going to come up here and make a couple really simple uh, changes using our plugins. So the first thing that we want to do doesn't actually require a plugin. It's, uh, it's called uh, reverse. It's right up here. It comes standard with, uh, with uh, the program. We're going to apply that. You can play it in reverse and hear what it sounds like. It's pretty nonsensical. Oh, go see him now. Hey, no, he doesn't. Oh. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, then we're going to go back to effects after we've applied reverse. Now we're going to apply something that requires our plugin. It is down here and it is called Gverb. It's right here under Gong Model. And <laughs> between Gong Model and Hard Limiter, I've been there before. So we're going to say. Uh, uh, open up Gverb, and these are how I have these uh, set. They're all pretty uh, round numbers, pretty simple. Max out the room size. Uh, I maxed out reverb time. Uh, damping, maxed out to 1. Uh, bandwidth is 0 0.05, which is pretty low. I've uh, maxed out, so to speak, dry signal at 0. Maxed out early reflection, so to speak, at 0. And then the tail level decibels are set for negative 2, which is pretty high as well. Uh, again, as with all effects, I encourage you to play around with these and see what uh, the individual ones do because uh, just understanding the explanation for them is not going to help. You need to play with them and see what happens. Uh, we're going to have a, an interesting little voice clip here, but since it's reversed, it doesn't actually match up with our uh, our other line. So we're going to go back up to our effects, all the way back up to the top, hopefully here. Bear with me. And we're going to go back down to reverse, and we're going to flip the uh, file back the other way. Now we're going to unmute this guy, and just in a, a couple minutes, I think you'll agree, we've come up with a pretty cool sort of haunted ghostly sound. Uh, before you play it, you might want to turn down the uh, uh, decibels on the, uh, the, the baseline file, negative 12 or so, makes it sound pretty decent. So we'll play this for you, and you can hear what it sounds like again. Maybe. There we go. Hello? Is anyone there? Why am I so cold? So I think it sounds pretty cool. It's sort of ghostly, sort of creepy. Uh, again, play around with the settings uh, in the Gverb. It's a really cool plugin. It's really useful, and you can make a lot of really cool effects out of it. But I think that's pretty good for a couple minutes. So thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.